To the untrained ear, these two sound exactly the same, but to the professional ear, there is a slight difference. Now honestly, could you hear the difference? Playing just one time of each right after another, you probably can't. But if I play the first one a few times, loop it, and then do the second one looping it, I bet you might start to hear the difference. There are three different things between the original and the remaster. In just a second ago, I think what you probably heard the difference, the biggest difference, is the guitar. And that's what I'm gonna show you right here if you couldn't hear it. The original guitar sound like this. And if I just tweak this here, then the remaster one sound like this. Just that slight little boost here will change it. None of us can hear a difference. Now let's see if you can hear the second one. Not quite as easy as the first one. Admittedly, I can't hear it all the time, but sometimes I hear it. I feel like the original, the hi-hats are a little bit crisper sounding than the remasters are. The, 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 the. And the final one, which may be completely in my head. Man, it's always in your head. Is more distortion in the remaster. I mean, I'd be listening to the remaster and go like, is that clipping? I kind of hear, it, it sounds like it's distorted to me. Then I go back and listen to it a couple more times and I think, no, nah, not really. But every once in a while I'll have that kind of nagging feeling that it is clipping. What do you guys think? Because I'm not sure if it's in my head or not. And unfortunately, or fortunately, however you want to look at it, these recent Megadeth remasters, they're really, there's not too much variation between the original and the remasters. But there is a little more in this one compared to the last one, which I did right here. 